Welcome to another great video from beginningprogrammer.com on the YouTube channel. Beginning C++ Quick Primer, how to reverse a string. So let's take a look. So if you're in a C++ class, typically you have to do a lot of uh, little programs that do different things. One common theme is to do things with strings. So let's take a string and reverse it. So for this example, let's take a string and reverse it. So let's write our function string. It returns that and we call it reverse. So we take that and we take a string as input and we just call it stir for lack of a better name. And for now, let's just return stir. Let's take stir. Let's take another string reversed equals stir and let's take and we're not going to do anything at this point we're just going to return reversed and <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a string here and let's take a name and we'll take a name and let's take my name for instance and let's output what it does And it's called reverse. Let's say reverse and let's pass in name. And let's do an endo. And let's see if this even compiles. Ooh, and we have an error because I left out the arrow. So let's try it again. So we have that. Let's separate our name with a space. And right now it doesn't reverse, but if we wanted to reverse the name, we could simply do it like this. So first off, we know we have to get the length. So let's take the length. And let's take the length of the string. And we simply say length. And then we do a for loop. Or, and we can say in i equals length. I greater than negative one, I minus minus, we are going to begin from the back of the string and reverse it. And we don't want to start at the index length because it's zero base, so we have to start at length minus one. So we take reversed, and we just add the last index of the string. So we take stir and we take the last character in it and we add it to reversed. And then we re simply return reversed and let's see if this works. Do we have everything correct? Let's see, we have that. So we have reversed, so we have string, we get the length and we walk our way backwards from the end of the string. So we're taking the last character, adding it next to last, adding it, and just keep doing that over and over until we get the reverse value and we return that. Let's run it. And <clears throat> one thing we didn't do, okay, we have reversed and we have reversed. And you notice my mistake here because I added the name first, so we want to initialize it to nothing. So we have that, let's try it again. And we have there, we have simply reversed. And we can reverse anything at this point. Let's take something else. And let's take that, copy this. And we reverse name and now it should give us the reverse name. So let's go ahead and run it. And you can see that our reverse works. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I have more great videos coming your way. Thanks for watching. Until next time.